พราะฉันเองนั้นยังไม่แน่ใจก็เพราะฉันอายเธอเธอ This man catching frogs You can see rice paddies Rice is just coming on It's come on a long way in the last month And he set his trap down in the creek there So he tells me he is setting frog traps, yeah, for frogs. Yeah, <laughs> good to eat. <laughs> The sign told us there were two ways to my sign. One was 18 kilometers, one was 17. The 18 was this road, the road less traveled. So guess where we're going? On the road less traveled. We like these roads, they're much better than the highway. The highway is boring. Come round here, at least you see little villages like this one we're passing through now. And even on this road, which is definitely a back road, there's even ATM machines. We've seen three of them back there on the side of the road. And there's shops of all sorts here. Goodness knows how they ever make a living. And so we're just about in my side. Oh well, the wombat mobile made it to my side. Oh, and I can smell something. Can you smell that? Wow. Oh, I knew I could smell something. Durian. Durian, beautiful. Wow, beautiful smell. Can you smell that? Hey, isn't that wonderful? We have been told the guest house we're after is down here. Down this street, I think. Now, probably. which street's it down? This is Wombat. That was by the policeman, so I suppose we'll go this way. Well, police don't know everything. Where else would you go? I don't know, but they're careful as kids everywhere. But I can't see the guest house down here at the moment. Parking might be a bit of a problem. Believe it or not. We are now at the most northern part of Thailand. We've come to look at a room in this little... Uh, there, that says, that is Myanmar. So, those people sitting over there are in a different country to us. And this is where we were looking at staying. Have a look up in the little village up in there, Mrs Wombat. Goodness that gracious. That is a real village. That is a village. But we had a look at the rooms up here. What was the mattress like, Mr. Uh, Wombat? They're little tiny rooms, but you've got to walk up the hill to get to them. They're only 300 baht a night. But <laughs> it was a battle getting here through the market. I think we will go and pay a little bit more and get, get somewhere a little bit better. It was scruffy. Well, that really didn't work looking at that guest house. So we'll try and find our way back to town without going through that nightmarish market. Now I think we'll go and try and find ourselves a hotel on the main drag that's got a bit of parking. Look, in front, the main drag. Yippee! What a navigator. This is the border to Burma, Myanmar. And as with everything, it's like fishing. When we came here earlier, there were hundreds queuing up. Now there's only dozens. But go through there and you're in Burma. We don't have a visa for Burma. So today we're not going to go. We're in the market at my side. Once again, C1, you've seen most of them. But we just bought half a kilo of 
candied mango for 100 baht, which would cost us a lot more in Chiang Mai. And Mrs. Wombat's just found some tiger eye. How much, Mrs. Wombat? Ask the man, how much tiger eye? Uh, heavy. Two, two hundred. Yeah, I know. For me, it has to be. little ones. What big ones? Big ones. Fifty baht. Huh? Fifty baht. Fifty baht. Big ones better. How much? Two fifty. Two hundred. Two hundred fifty. Two hundred. <laughs> 200 baht, ba much better price. One big one, one small one, 250. We'll see what we can do. Okay, Mrs. Wombat, show me your bracelet. What did you get? Tiger eye. You got a tiger eye bracelet. How much? 1,000 baht? No, 200. 200 baht. Very good price. Thank you very much. The market is pretty busy in the daytime. I don't know what it will be like tonight. Normally we would go home and have a little sleep in the heat of the afternoon, but today, as we are only going to be here this afternoon and tonight, we'll make the most of it. So, who would bring a car up here? You'd have to be stupid, wouldn't you? Actually, I seem to recall that I did earlier, but we took it back out again. I think it must be For a beer time. close on 40 degrees today. It's feeling like 45, so it's definitely beer o'clock. And we're also having a fruit shape orange and lime and apple, and she is going to blend it all up. Beautiful. Now it's not mango, it's lime. An orange. An orange and I think apple in your smoothie today. And it looks alright. Very good. Cut. Okay, avocados. One kilo. One kilo. 35 and baht. Apple. Good bargain. <laughs> Beautiful avocados. Thank you very much. And the queue. Yay! Oh, <laughs> Stay there! Yes! <laughs> and the queue for the border gate yeah, is yeah, still, <laughs> still <laughs> way <laughs> back <laughs> down here. I think this is... They look like plums, Mrs. Mrs. Wombat. Yeah! And green, green, green what? What are the green ones? Mangoes. Green, oh, of course, green mangoes. And these people are setting up their food stall for the night. So we will come back. We will return. And you've got to admit that this time of night, which is after four o'clock, right at the border, while they're trying to set up the food stalls and all the stores for the night market, everything. It's total bloody chaos. And thank goodness I didn't bring the car out. I left it back at the at the rooms because the police are turning everyone around here now. You cannot go up there. It's totally congested. So as you can see, everybody in this lane is being turned around. Oh, you wouldn't think a place this size could get this busy. It's unbelievable. This lady, she is laughing at me. 
I think she thinks I'm stupid standing here with a hey, hey, how are you? <laughs> and he's got a cage full. You look like a load of criminals in there. And I had to go back and pick up my three bottles of fruit wine. And I forgot where the shop was. I didn't realise it was so close to the border here. So I just walked the whole length of the street through this chaos. It's only 31.2 degrees. Feels about 50 to me. Have a look at this. Oh, I'm glad I left the car at home. As you can see in the last 30 minutes, 20 minutes, the street stores have all set up here. The street is now closed to traffic and it's food time. We'll give it a couple of hours until it starts to darken off a bit. Then we'll come out for dinner. But that chicken certainly looks all right. and they lay a string down the street and it's got numbers on it and that's where their stand goes Good. Aha. <laughs> tonight I think I come back and I have chicken tonight yeah it looks very very good but later about eight o'clock I come back you still be here eight o'clock eight o'clock tonight yes no, I think he will. Okay. Now that chicken, that chicken looked beautiful. Mm. And everyone in the family is here preparing food. Look very nice. Yeah. Very good. Later tonight. I'm sorry. Seven o'clock. Open till. Yeah, open till nine. Yes. Okay, I come back seven o'clock. Okay, thank you. See you again. We will. There is so much food here, it's driving me crazy. Curry, I can smell beautiful curry. I must get home, get showered, and come back again. This is the end of the market. Police have closed the street here. And some people are still setting up their stalls, as you can see. So, I do not like the look of that sky. I just hope for them it doesn't rain tonight. And where are we staying, you ask? In the Little Bear, which is down there about 80 metres. Let's go and have a look at it. And we are staying in Little Bear. House service and gallery, I don't really know what that means. Well, there it is, right there. It's reasonably ordinary. Saudi car. Saudi car. We're in there. Number two, 450 baht a night. We're not going to complain. And I can park the Wombat Mobile and leave it here all night because there's no way I'm taking it up there in the market.